Hello guys and welcome. This is a tutorial on the programming language called Scratch created by MIT. So here I am on the Scratch website, scratch.mit.edu. I'm already signed in. I have an account. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here with our project. We're going to click create. And uh, what we can see when we first uh, click create is we see our sprite, this cat here. And you can see it's just in the middle of the page. Um, we can move it around and here you can see is uh, or the mouse's X and Y values so every time I move that you can see the mouse's X and Y values um, so this is our sprite it could do different things we have scripts for it uh, you could do events controllers sensing operations you know things like plus minus uh, multiplication boolean expressions yeah uh, you could change the costume of the cat so you can make it appear like it's running or walking and then we have different sounds so here it has a meow sound so we go ahead and click play and we can hear a meow sound and then you can even record your own sound on here as well so just like any program let's get started with a hello world uh, printing out to uh, to the user so in order to do that just click events and we click when that flag is clicked, this flag right here, then we want to say hello world. So hello world. Perfect. So let's go ahead and run this. And it says hello world. Let's run it again. Hello world. Perfect. So um, that's good for our first project on scratch so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and save it well at first I need to give this project a name so I'll call it hello world and now let me go ahead and save it okay it says it was saved and I should be able to go to my stuff here and I should be able to see my hello world project and I click play and I can see it says hello world and you can see I have other projects here wizarding world uh, Mickey's adventure uh, not very good um, and here's the wizarding world one which I uh, tried my best to make it look kind of cool but um, I basically plan on doing some more projects on scratch so we can create some games and uh, some really fun games actually and learn more about this language itself so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video lesson